up? My name's Courtney. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my top 10 favorite Yumiko leotard styles. This was pretty hard to choose 10 to choose from, but I did my best to show you new ones that you haven't seen yet and ones that I really enjoy wearing. I also tried to get a variety of colors within the styles that are my favorites, so I hope that helps you if you're trying to decide between any colors and styles. If you are interested in ordering a Yumiko leotard or Yumiko unitard, shorts, leggings, etc., you'll get 15% off if you order through a Yumiko ambassador like myself. You can contact me here or you can email me and I'll leave my email in the description. It would mean so much to me if you would subscribe to my channel and put that notifications bell on so you're notified whenever I have new videos that become live. And also if you would like this video, it would help me so much and it would help my channel. I would really appreciate it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So my first one that I'm going to show you is the Natasha style and that is a high neck front with the buttons in the back and it has this really nice open back which I really like and then a bust panel and this is solid nylon and high cut leg. I really think that a solid black Yumiko leotard is just a classic and you really can't go wrong. I like this one because I feel like it elongates my neck and it just fits nicely and flattering. This one is a small. I can wear a small or a medium. Usually if if I get one with sleeves, I'll size up, which is recommended on the website as well, because then it gets a little bit tighter through the arms when you add sleeves. Let's go ahead and put this one on to see how it looks. Another one of my favorite styles is the Denise style, and I always am a sucker for velvet. I love blue also. I have way too many blue Yumikos, but you can't have too many, right? It is NC on the bottom with velvet dark blue on the top and NC trim and strap. Here's the back. This one also has a bust panel and with this bust panel, it's basically another layer of fabric on the dark blue. This one is also high cut leg. So I'm gonna put this one on and see how it looks. very first Yumiko's and I think I showed it in my first Yumiko video. I thought I would show it here again because it's one of my favorites. This is the Noe style. It's similar to the Natasha style except the neckline instead of going more along the shoulder it kind of cuts in so it shows a little bit more of your collarbones. Um, this is I want to say okay this is it's a long time ago I want to say it's tea violet with n lavender trim so this is techni and the other two have been nylon and velvet so far I just really love this color and I feel like everyone has those few colors for me I feel like blues purples and corals are kind of my colors that I tend to get that I like on myself with that said a lot of my Yumiko's are blue coral or purple <laughs> and then here is the back and it has a bust panel high cut leg I'm gonna try this one on to see how it looks The Marique style. This is N dark blue with N white. One thing if you have a darker base with a light trim, you want to make sure you're careful when you wash them that you hand wash them with cold water. If you put them in a normal load, the colors will bleed and the white will slowly become blue. This is the front and this is the back. I didn't know if I would like the Marique style because it's kind of more square, but I specifically really like it with sleeves because I feel like it just is really elegant looking. And this has three quarter sleeves. I really like half sleeves and three quarter sleeves the most. For some reason, I just feel like they're the most flattering on me, but then you can also get cap sleeve and long sleeve or no sleeve. So let's go ahead and see how this one looks like on. <laughs> the Kumiko style. So it is similar to the Natasha style. It has the same like higher neck top and the same where it hits the inside of the shoulder. And then instead of this one being an open back like the Natasha, this one has a zipper back and this is in N Planet, I believe, Nylon Planet with a bust panel and a high cut leg. I really like this one because it's different than the rest of my leotards. It's a different color than I would normally go for. It's more of a natural color. And I really liked this one when I was doing any kind of contemporary movement. It just helped me really get into the movement style and I feel like your leotard can really depend on how your dance day goes if you feel good in your leotard and your clothing then you feel good while you're dancing and that's really important to me let's see how this one looks like on <laughs> Another 
Another one of my all-time favorites is the Alicia or Alicia style. This one is a microfiber leotard. I don't remember the name of this. It was so long ago, but I'll put it down here once I figure it out. The ones that look the most like it, I'll write it here if you're interested in ordering one like this. This one has short sleeves and is all microfiber. I usually steer more towards nylon um, and then sometimes technique because I like the thinness of the leotard. I feel like it just feels more like my body rather than having so much layers on myself. Another reason people really like microfiber is because it tends to absorb sweat more. So especially with lighter color nylon fabrics, you can see the sweat, which for me, I don't mind that because if you're sweating, that means you're working hard and I have nothing against seeing sweat. But for those who don't like seeing sweat in their leotards, um, microfiber is good because it really absorbs it and it, you can't see it as much. That's something a lot of dancers say to me. They say, I don't want to see sweat in my class. What material can I choose to hide the sweat and not show sweat marks? So I always recommend microfiber for anyone like that. With that said, let's go ahead and try this one on. with a colored trim leotard. So this is the Charlotte style. And I believe the Charlotte style is the first Yumiko I ever got from the Yumiko store back in like 2010, I wanna say it was, like 10 years ago. And this is N Cayenne with N Black. This one's a really popular style. I think the way it looks on everybody, I think it it's a very versatile leotard. It fits a lot of body types. And then the back is very open. This one's high neck, but with the zipper, you have the option to not have it tight around your neck. I know some dancers feel a little bit claustrophobic if they have anything that is too tight around their neck, which I totally makes sense. But for me, it doesn't really bother me. But if I was kind of hot or I wanted a different style or maybe I was wearing a small necklace, then I would like it open a little bit. This was one of my favorite styles. I have this one in a couple different colors and sleeves. This one's really nice with sleeves. Let's see how this one looks like on. I thought it would be really cool to do the opposite. So I have N Cayenne body with N black trim. I feel like this one just looks like a completely different color scheme than the other one. I love the Veronique style. This is the Veronique leotard because it's like a classic leotard in the front and in the back it has the nice open back but it's not too low. It's like really mid back that's open and it's really cool because they also came out with this leotard with mesh up on the top here and I love that style. So if you haven't seen my mesh leotard video, it'll either be coming out soon or or I'll have it linked in the description below depending on the order in which all these Yumi leotards come out. I'll put it next to the same color but the other reverse color just so you can kind of see. I feel like the two colors together are really pretty and I obviously liked it enough to order two in the opposite colorway. I'm gonna put this one on to see how it looks. <laughs> favorite styles is the Cora style. I feel like it's different than a lot of the other Yumi's because you can get the side stripe, which I love. This one reminds me of Tinkerbell for some reason. I think just the green. I wanted to steer away from my blues, purples, and corals by choosing a color I wouldn't normally go with. So I want to say this is T Verde with T Pistachio trim and zipper, which I'm pretty sure is right. And then it has the T Pistachio side stripe, high cut leg. And I think I like this one so much because it's just really comfortable. It feels like a camisole leotard. It looks really flat on all body types. I feel like it's also pretty sporty. There's some that have like a really classical style, others have like a more contemporary style. And this one I feel like is sporty. If this were a tank top, I'd wear this out if I was going to the gym or for a run, which you know, I don't run, but if I were to run, then I would wear it for a run or out to like a yoga class. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on to show you how it looks. Jessica style and I think I'm seeing a theme here that I really like zipper leotards and high neck leotards which I didn't think originally that I liked higher neck leotards but apparently I do. I think I just like how they're easy to adjust and depending on how you're feeling that day if you want it zipped down lower or you want it higher I think I just like the versatileness of all of that. This one is a Jessica with cap sleeves which I really like cap sleeves because it just makes it a little bit more unique than other leotards. This is N Terra on the bottom and Terra on the trim. This is N Art on the top. I think this one's really nice because it's kind of like a more classical feel. It's just flattering having this like higher line on the back. I'm gonna put this one on and see how it looks.
watching this video and getting to know my top 10 favorite Yumiko styles. I learned that 74% of people coming to my channel are not subscribed, so it would mean so much to me if you would hit that subscribe button to help me out and my channel to grow. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and being a part of today's video. I hope to see you in another video real soon. Thanks!